All right, guys, this is the next episode of uh, Let's Fix It at Home. And today we'll be working on a wristband or let's say heart rate monitor wristband. So this is a no particular brand, just uh, called Sport BP. I'm not sure if it's any brand name or anything, but it's a simple heart rate monitor bracelet. This is how it's supposed to look on a screen and this is how it looks it doesn't have anything coming up on the screen so i've tried charging it with no luck i'm going to show you that it doesn't work and then i guess we're going to try to take it apart and see what's wrong with it so i have a, a power bank right here so let's turn it on it's on. I'm going to plug in a simple um, little square USB device from Apple, which is suitable for this particular device. It's been charged before with it and it worked fine. So, at this moment, we're just going to try and see if it's charging. That's number one thing that we're going to do. So, I'm going to remove one part of the bracelet, which is this part right here. Has a little battery logo sign printed into it, so we just pull it side by side, and it comes off just like that. And now I'm going to insert this bracelet into USB cord, USB plug. And usually, when you do that and you turn it on, it will show you right here in the screen little charging bar or little battery sign. As you can see, there's nothing coming up. I'm going to try to plug it in the other way, here we go, which is probably not the correct way, but anyways, we're still trying, and as you can see, there's nothing coming up, so let's try it again. And you can see there's nothing going on, and I've tried to plug it in with the several different adapters before, and it's been since unsuccessful, and uh, I think it's time to take a look at this bracelet and see if there's any kind of water damage to maybe a battery that is uh, no longer working. Let's take a look. So we're going to turn off this bank, disconnect the bracelet, and let's continue to part number two. All right, guys, part number two. I'm going to remove this charging uh, block and we're going to work on the uh, actual device. So let's remove the second part of the bracelet so it'll be easier to work. Same way, just pull it out. And uh, this particular item has four little screws. One, two, three, four. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove those four screws. This sensor right here, that's uh, uh, the sensor that reads your heartbeat, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's not lighting up. Usually it just uh, lights up green or red. So in this case, you can see there's either no charge, no battery, or something else is wrong, maybe some water damage to this uh, device. So let's take a look what we can do. I have a little toolbox right here. It's not a little toolbox, it's a little set, like a screwdriver set, which I'll be using to remove the screws from this uh, monitor, heartbeat monitor, the back end of it, and let's see. It's a little Phillips, which is the square, which is a plus actually, type of screws. So I think I have something like that. I think this one will work. Let's see. A little bit too big. Let's see if we have a bigger one. I think, actually a smaller one. I think this one might work. It's pretty tiny. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's set it up in our little screw driver and remove this little screws so we'll go screw number one. Oh, that's a pretty long screw screw number two you got screw number two let's do screw number three so tiny, you're gonna make sure it's in 
the screw before you start threading, otherwise you can uh, shave the head of the screw and then you're not able to unscrew it after. So let's set it in a screw first. Okay. There you go. And now we turn. Counterclockwise, guys. All the screws are counterclockwise to unscrew and clockwise to screw in. Alright, so let's take a look what we're dealing with. And here we go. First time opening this thing. I have no idea how we should do it upside down or what, but here we go. Alright. Let's see what we have here. So, there's a little connector right here I believe to this front which is a display yeah there's a little connection here and the rest of it is sitting in the back of the of the mount so let's see if we can maybe disconnect it or remove this portion right here oh yeah it comes off okay Let's see if this one comes off. Uh, never done it before, so don't blame me for a trial and error, but here we go. It's coming off. Alright, so I believe this is a battery. It doesn't look like it's a replaceable battery. But that is. A little bit bulged, so I'm not sure if it's good or bad. It might not be good enough anymore. So, all right, uh, what can we do? We can try to connect maybe a different power source and see if that's gonna work. But it doesn't look like this battery is replaceable, it looks like it's a one time shot. It's welded on, and once it goes, it goes. So I don't think so. We'll be able to fix much on this device unless we can find a replacement battery. Which, even if we find a replacement battery, I don't think so. We'll be able to replace this one without damaging some components here. It doesn't look like it's a replaceable component. Yeah, it's glued to the plate as well, so I think this is the end of the line for this device since not much can be done and the battery is not recharging anymore. Alright guys, so I guess this is going to be the end of the video unless I'll find some other solution and uh, continue this video, but for now it is what it is. The device is dead the battery is not replaceable and there's not much work we can do here there's not many components we can replace or play with if it doesn't charge it doesn't charge it's not an expensive device it's probably like 30, 30 to 40 dollars so I think in this case it's better to buy a new device rather than working on this and trying to replace some components that are not readily available on the internet so I think at this moment I'm gonna stop the video and See you in the next one. Well, I guess I'll try one more thing. I'm going to clean the contacts right here, the charging contacts. Maybe there's some kind of dirt or dust or anything that's stuck in here and it's not charging the battery. And that's the last step I can do because the battery is not replaceable. So I'm going to charge. I'm going to try to charge it again. I've cleaned the contacts here, I'm going to clean the contacts on this side. Make sure there's a good connection on the contacts. But I don't think so, it's the issue. But it never hurts to try. So I'm just clean the contacts. I'm going to put this thing together and give it one more last one last try, last charge before tossing it in the garbage. There's not much I can do here. Alright.
right. Contacts are cleaned. Obviously it's dead because it's not responding to any touches. And I'm just going to put the screws back together and try to charge it. And I think it's going to be the end of the line for this little device. It worked for about, I would say, two to three years. Probably about three years. Still worth it. But that's the lifetime of those devices. They're not waterproof. It might have been a water damaged damage. It might have been dropped. And it might have just the battery might have just depleted to the point that it's not recharging anymore. So any of those issues, they're really hard to find since there's no visible damage on the on the actual plastic on the cover. I don't see any water damage. There might have been water damage and it dried out. And uh, yeah, there's no cracks on it. So who knows? But uh, it's not a really expensive device and the parts are not really replaceable. So I'm gonna let it go if it's not charging and move to the next item, which I have a couple to work on. So that's the end of the video, guys. That's how to take it apart and put it back together and uh, there's not much I can do here in terms of testing so at this point I'm gonna stop the video and uh, see you in the next one alright guys so let's test it out I've cleaned the contacts let's pray for a miracle and if it's not working then it's a garbage but if it's working then you know what maybe sometimes cleaning the contacts works so let's see and we have some action yes guys you see never give up always try to the last option and then if it's not working then you can you know say that's it we have to go or we have to drop it but this device it's not water damaged it's not cracked so the only thing that I needed to do is just to clean the contacts. And as you can see, the battery is charging. Voila, we just fixed it in literally under five minutes. The only thing I've done is take it apart, clean the contacts, put it back together. So good luck, guys. If you have any problems with any kind of heartbeat monitor uh, wristbands, try taking it apart, clean the contacts on the battery on the, on the chargeable portion of it on the port where it connects to the main uh, main main plate main part of the device there are little two pins that are connected to the charging ports and then sometimes they just get dirty or some oxidation so clean it up and here we go you get it back to life so one more device fixed I'll see you in the next one